Did they say they had a warrant? Nah, they, 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 they just hit all the cars and started raiding. Did they have a warrant? It's not for my house, I don't know. You don't have to let anybody in if they don't have a warrant. You still don't have to let anybody in if they don't have a warrant, if it's for you or not. It's your constitutional right. This guy's looking through mail, that's a federal crime. Sorry, bro. Don't don't let them in unless you have they have a warrant. Yeah, someone else is there, but someone else lives there. Yeah, you gotta knock on that door. Jeez, these cops just go without a warrant. They're looking in people's mail. That's crazy. Say, looking for a Spanish guy. Everyone's Spanish. Well, I mean, if you're gonna. Don't let him in without a warrant. These guys just go into people's houses. Oh, they're, they're, they're saying, trying to raid whoever's got this car. Yeah, but you're not allowed to go through people's mail. That's a federal offense, and you're not allowed to go in. You're not allowed to try to subvert people's rights. Look, see, they just they try to get you to subvert your rights without a warrant. Don't let people in the house without a warrant. Yeah, no, I know that. I get yeah. yeah. They don't give them permission though. Yeah, I'm, I'm no, no, it's 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 not that though. I mean, they should have like this is crazy. Some Spanish guy? I wish these guys would cut off the drug dealers at the head like the CIA bringing in all the narcotics. I like the days back in the in the days when people oh, they asked for did they read you your rights, sir? Sir, did they read you your rights or do you have a warrant? Did they have a warrant to go in your house? Because if they didn't have a warrant to go in your house, they just illegally searched and seized you. And they also were searching through mailboxes. It's illegal. I have it on video. They always go on the African American minorities. They never bring in the big drug dealers that bring it in. They don't take care of the CIA. They don't bust up the mafia on Federal Hill. They don't take care of Gina Raimondo and her corruption. But they get the low level drug dealers. They don't get the big ones. These guys are the ones being nosy. They're walking on people's properties without a warrant, with a dog without a warrant. They're going in people's mailboxes. That's not, that's not how you do things. Hey, if you want to take away bad guys, but just do it the constitutional way. There's many people who have died to uphold the Constitution, and you can't just trample over the Constitution because you think you got a bad guy. You can shut that door if you don't have a warrant. All right, we good? 
Guys, stay after the bad guys, but let's uphold the Constitution. That's the foundational document of our country. Men have died for that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. God bless Thank you. you, bro. You have you as well. Thank you. Be safe. All right. I will do my best to be okay. safe. How are you doing? I'm excellent. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Great. Good. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. Have a nice day. You too. Thank you, sir. Call a lawyer, don't gonna say nothing, you're just incriminating yourself, call a lawyer. Shut the door, tell them to get a warrant, call a lawyer. Right, Be safe, stay. brother, you too. And I wanted to quickly say to everybody out there too, we tried prohibition before. Prohibition did not work in the 1920s. They made alcohol legal and you know what that did? It only made the gangs worse and it only armed people up. Prohibition doesn't work. The war on drugs has failed. These guys protect the big cartels but not the small minorities. They'll never go after the big fish. They don't care about the tyrannical politicians in Rhode Island breaking the law. They don't care about the, the massive pedophile rings. There's a few good members of the Rhode Island State Police. One socket, I don't know. But I'll tell you what, guys. We need to get back to following the Constitution. Men have died to protect that Constitution. And we can't go around subverting the Fourth Amendment just because we think somebody's a bad guy. Remember your oath to the Constitution, gentlemen. People died for that Constitution. Well, unfortunately, we have another scenario which happens day after day after day here in the United States. The big cartels, the big drug cartels working with the CIA, bring, the, bring, bring all this stuff in. They bring the drugs in. Nobody cares about the large cartels. Nobody cares about the large cartels or the CIA. Nope, they don't care about the corrupt politicians. They don't care about the pedophile rings. They care about a low-level drug dealer. And they're willing to subvert the Constitution just to do that. So, I don't know about you guys, but my grandfather and my other grandfather, they took an oath to the Constitution. And it's sad that many men and women have died to protect that oath to the Constitution. And what has happened as a result? We're losing all of our freedoms and we're letting the cops shoot black people, kill dogs, and take away the Bill of Rights and Constitution. This is not what our country was set up to be. Till next time, folks.